In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use drum apps to improve your workflow when it comes to programming drums, and especially with the help of midiremap.com, which now offers downloadable drum apps for the most important DAWs. When I started programming drums, this was what I was doing. I was using the piano roll. I was guessing, oh, what is this? Uh, it's, it's maybe a crash one, crash two, I don't know. It was a pain in the ass, to be honest. Then I discovered drum apps, which look awesome when it comes to programming drums. The notes don't have to have a length and stuff like that. You can name all your parts. For example, let's listen to this part. Currently it's broken in Superior Drummer. Yeah, great. I can see this. these are the kicks. These are my rides. This is my snare, all this stuff. No more guessing, no more how long does this note have to be. It doesn't matter when it comes to drum samples. If you go to midiremap.com, you can find a new point in the main menu, which is called Download Drum Maps. And there you can find drum maps in four formats at the moment. PDF, Cubase, which is DRM, Studio One, which are pitch lists, and for Reaper, which is just a simple text file. And for all presets, that are available at midiremap.com. For example, Get Good Drums, One Kid Wonder, or Tune Drag Easy Drama, or Superior Drama, General MIDI Standard. You can now download those and use them in your DAW. Or for example, you can, if your DAW doesn't support drum apps, you can simply use the PDF to at least make your life a little, little easier. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it in Studio One. Let's dive into it. Let's say I have used midiremap.com to successfully convert the superior drum part to the new mapping, which is modern and massive. And yeah, I mean, it sounds great, but I have one more problem. I want to use drum maps and I don't have one for modern and massive. So I have to do it all myself manually because the current map, which is Tundrick Superior Drummer, simply doesn't make any sense. For example, it says hide open, which is a kick. Um, the rides uh, are a completely different note. So I might now manually create one, which might take me one to two hours and a lot of pain. Um, or I can just simply go to midiremap.com and look for a drum map for what did I use? I use Get Good Drums Modern Massive Default Mapping Helper. I use Studio One. And I'm now gonna show you how to do it in Studio One. Um, this might be completely different in your DAW. Um, I might try to do another one in Reaper. I don't think I can do one in Cubist because I don't have it, but you're gonna figure it out. Download. You can see the file. It's a pitch list. Um, type also says Studio One pitch names. In Studio One, you need to copy this file and go to your user presets folder. In my case, that's on an external hard drive. In most cases, it might be something uh, on your local machine. Just figure that out. The folder is called user presets, pitch names, and this is where all your Studio One pitch lists are stored. Just copy the file you just downloaded there. Go back to Studio One. And here's the important part. Most people miss this. Go to Browse. And the button where it says um, re-index presets, um, in German it's different, but just click that one. That's pretty important. So after that, Studio One re-indexed your pitch lists and it now should show up. Right, there it is. Let's select it. Okay, now it looks good. The kick is right. Right is right. Snares are right. Crash is right. Everything worked out great. Thank you for watching this video and if you like the maps, yeah, go to mediaremap.com and download them.